Excellency, my people have told you here that they voted for you 80%. You have never called me to even give me a call for that 80%. They will see a word, but I don't know when I will help her to buy uh, other clothes. And instead of appreciating, you are now blaming me for just it. What do you want? I got from your brother, you know? Mr. Lamela, why is she near call? I think I will have to go and uh, do the shopping myself. Your grandchildren are very naughty, particularly when you are here. They behave like real children, so they are very happy when they see people like us talking. But I want to say that the people of Lango and we members of the family are very happy to receive you back in Otuke. And we know that when a big brother comes, something always happens. And we, the, the people of Lango, particularly this family, and it is important you get to know the historical foundation of this place where you are. There are two clans which are very influential here. The, the clan of Otikokin, where Machiduo Guanemora comes from, and the clan of Ugora. Now, for you to come on this day, when Lao is doing a ceremony called Jokuburu, after the burial of our son, we really feel blessed, and we really want to thank you. We want to thank you in a special way, because the recommendation that Parliament sent to you and to the government regarding uh, elevating the status of the late Machogogo, you received it very well and we want to thank you that uh, his rank will definitely be posthumously elevated because of the good work he has done. We love him because of security and I don't think any member of the opposition was worried about Masodogo going to parliament. He could have been elected over and over because we were always appreciative of the work he did. Love, love, peace. And that's why Lango has been the center of refuge. When you want peace, Lango is the answer. So I'm very happy that you have taken that matter very, very seriously. Secondly, Your Excellency, as we want to reconcile ourselves, and bring the, the menans of cattle wrestling to, to an end. It's okay. Uh, I think we need to change our language. This is just an advice. I know this matter was raised in Parliament, and I know you are taking it up seriously. Let us change our language. Let it not be Karamojo Raiders. Let it be cattle raiders. Because this thing has now been commercialized, we know there are people from across the world now who have now become part of Katarasla. So why do we target Karamojom when actually we want Karamojom to help us to deal with the matter? We don't want the Karamojom to feel we are targeting them. Because they are also victims. That cattle is also being raided. So that's one way that we could bring the Karamojom to be part and parcel of the solution to this problem. And uh, finally, just to give you advice, yes, my brother. <laughs> you, know, you know the thing is some of the things that we talk as a family sometimes people think when we talk as a family we backbite them but sometimes it's good to talk publicly they, they know that there is nothing to backbite anybody about it is important that when it comes to command leadership matrix involve the local the voice of the local matters a time of crisis. And that's, that's why Matu Google was a big solution to our problem. So now, when you give me your command matrix, Mr. Nabachu, sorry, Mr. Nabachu, Mr. Lahu, Mr. Abu, you know, I, I can't pronounce their names properly. That's my basic problem. But let's have some okay team, something that also, so that, uh, you know, I think you have been following uh, you have been following my recent trip to Mbarana. I have a clan in Mbarana, and you know it. 
I have been going to Mbarara. Some of the some of the places you left there, like the building of the mosque, the city mosque. I followed it up and they have told you go and talk to your brother. So I have a clan there. And you know how much I love those people. I have a clan in Bugisu. And you know that. I can't hide it. I was educated in Acholi. And you know that. And you know that all these are my brothers and sisters and cousins and uncles. And uh, uh, you know, you and me were in UPC. We even translated the common man's chapter. They have never thanked us for that. <laughs> everybody's problem, including you, Your Excellency. You are in UPM when I was struggling with UPC, but now we are all trying to help Uganda to be united and to bury the past. That's what we are concerned about. So Your Excellency, allow me to say, let us just change slightly the command matrix. Let us also help our sisters who are in the military uniform. Because when I come, I'm very comfortable with General Nagueso. But when I see some of these young men, I don't know, sometimes my gomis is pulling, I want a lady to come and help me fix it. But now if the old men, they fear me, say, ah, leave the old lady alone. But so, I think, improve the women, let them be visible in the military. And at this point, I want my two daughters, our two sets of daughters, here. One I've already said, I celebrated with you in 2017 in Doko. I think that one I will not show them to you now. Because you work with them every day. I have two daughters. One you gave me is the RDC of that place. The second one is DPC of Doko. And let nobody bring any insecurity in Doko. They are commanded by women. Try. Can my two daughters come out? Well, stand up. Stand up. Where is my DPC stand here? I want Dokoro, Your Excellency, I represent Dokoro. And I can see Otuke has also come. I have no problem at all. I'm telling Your Excellency, with these women, with these women, they are, they are hot blooded. And they would work day and night, these women. So promote as more as you can in security and you leave it to us will prove women can make a change. You can go and sit and your excellency, I don't know for what reason, the lady gave you some very good daughters. Somehow I think after the elections people quarrel, I don't know. There was one called Anna, Anna somebody we know, Udomo. And after six months she was removed. And I don't remember. That was his back in the village with us, and we are wondering why. So, Your Excellency, sometimes you check some of the things that happen behind uh, you, Your Excellency. I want to close by saying, Your Excellency, we have taken your message. We have taken your message of security very seriously, and we have taken the issue of infrastructure development very seriously and the issue of production very seriously. But allow me to say, Otuke is developing because you have done a good job. And you have always accused me. Every time I come here, you accuse me. My sister doesn't appreciate it. Your Excellency, my people have told you here that they voted for you 80%. You have never called me to even give me a call for that 80%.
from Delhi Ogong's home here, Yerotuke here, or oh, from Omar Paul's home, we bring it to you. Then what? Then you must compete, you must thank us for the 80% votes you have been getting in Ogong. Your Excellency, finally, I don't know what, what uh, uh, about infrastructure development. I just want to remind you, just remind you, because sometimes people say, His Excellency, those, you have raised a very important point in 2017 when you came to Dokoro. You said, for security purposes, we need to open another highway that goes through Amoru Swamp and cuts straight into central uh, uh, Uganda. That is, um, about the swamp that goes to Nakasongola, if you remember. That road just started and is now stuck on the way. It is your personal project and it's a security linkage. It is very important that you take out that matter for the purpose of security, Your Excellency. And secondly, you also address in Dokoro the issue of the district hospital in Nango, big as it is, important as it is. And you are now a resident of Namo. Your Excellency, can you imagine that the historical hospitals with the British and Obote and I mean left with us, apart and there, are the only ones we have. And you promise you give Dokolo. Now five years, nothing has happened. And I left on, nothing has happened. So what is happening, Your Excellency? Check your records. There is someone who's not telling you. The pledges. And when it when when it comes to election, people will say unfulfilled pledges. And for us who are in opposition, we are very happy with that. That's the first one they ran with. <laughs> unfulfilled pledges. So I want the Dr. Mona as if they are listening. And the two ministers, my daughter's whom I have refused, I have introduced you to in Do in Do I want to thank you for keeping them there. I know there has been a lot of scandals of my party, but I'm glad they did put their fingers there. I would have been the first one to kill them for you. <laughs> so I'm happy you are keeping them. And uh, Your Excellency, on behalf of the family of Lango, the greater family of Lango, and on behalf of your family, Your Excellency, I want to thank the, the, the Nango family for responding to your invitation because I'm now speaking in two capacities. As a member of your family, and I, they, I think some of them didn't know when they saw me moving around, and you are very sensitive. When, it's like when you see a, a bird moving in the air, you know there's something on the ground. <laughs> so when you saw me inspecting the compound, you knew there was something on the ground. And I'm, <laughs> I'm very happy you responded very fast. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Your Excellency, uh, I want to say on behalf of your family that uh, we, were being, we are being well fed, we are eating, we are drunk, and I'm very happy that none of them has drunk alcohol and, and uh, apparently it was supplying alcohol. And I'm, I'm, I'm actually warning them that nobody should ask for alcohol. Because uh, where my brother lives, we have decided to stay away from alcohol. And also, uh, since you and me belong to that group, although you vaccinated some years back, but now you have come back, you have confirmed that to me. <laughs> I want to confirm, Your Excellency, that the people of Otuke are very happy, because when I raised that issue, the building of the church and the primary went very fast, and I'm happy that on Thursday it will be uh, open officially. However, I would like you, before you leave, to take care of the lighting system. I've been told that uh, both the church and the school will need some solar lighting system so that at least they can enjoy modern life because this building has come from your hand. And of course, also. Um, the Catholic Church are complaining because they walk like twins. If you do something for the Anglican, also do something for the Catholic. So now that you have improved the, the
the infrastructure in the Anglican Church, can you also do Kitu Kidogo in the Catholic Church so that we are all happy? And uh, Your Excellency, uh, finally, the issue that is between you and Lango, you remember the issue of giving us ox plow um, and two oxen to improve productivity in Lango sub region. I just want to remind you, we have already talked about it, and I wrote a, a, a paper about it, and of course the tractor I'm being reminded. And if you can give the 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 ARM chairman, bicycle and motorcycle, huh? why can't you give the women council? Why don't you give women council, motorcycle and bicycle so they can move around and help us with the mobilization? Why don't you give the youth? And I'm glad that I'm 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 surprised that the youth, the youth MP stood and did not tell you. That while you are giving NRM bicycle, you cannot give the youth. The youth will be working holistically. And they will not only focus on NRM, they will focus on Uganda mobilization for development. So I want to remind you that the youth council must all be facilitated with bicycles for their mobility and also the women council. Your Excellency, may God Almighty, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, uh, help Uganda under your leadership and we pray your excellency listen to the people listen to us and we'll be well with you and with the Lord God bless you may we also say a word for our wonderful words but I don't know when I will help her to buy uh, other clothes. <laughs> I, I, I think I'll have to go and uh, do the shopping myself. <laughs> So while we got went through a lot of problems, but we have really come out, and these residual problems, these are these are easy to, to deal with because the, the basics are there. Now, what I want to get out of, of this meeting, apart from what I know, I would like more more information so that we really will conclude these uh, issues. There was the civilians who arrested the trucks. I don't remember who raised that point. Was it the RDC? Uh-huh. So and the chairman of the district is here and can come and brief us. No, I, I can follow it up later. I just want to know who raised it. It was you? Yes, or? yes, yes, myself. Oh, okay, okay. I, I will follow it up because I want to know because all this helps us yes. to, to, to uproot the, the sickness. So this was... Uh, The MP is the one who raised it, who, who brought that point. <clears throat> now the um, now regarding the people who are killed, I will I will assist them. Yesterday here we had. Uh, from Acholi, they talked of 41 people killed by these raiders. And I will definitely assist them, assist the families, like we do for the others who have got, uh, you know, the landslides and so on. I will, I, will, I will assist each family in a small way. But I will also, the ones who are injured, I will, I will, I will want a list see how to, how to help them.
Ikare nacha kwa wenye nuti ya nungo Kwa kadu wongi tuwa na meyai Bota President Bashir Ikare nacha me Sudan And the Sudanese gave them Big guns, one gun called It's a tool in Vital Coinus Venga Sudan kwenye yugiu Duka don don menwen Akiel uluone Aaaa Milimita Yeraboru yariyo Ameka alue nyo Jieke ni richacha Mee wora wora Kwa minuti ya watiruwe nyaruwe nyam I can hear I can hear I'm trying to translate to record the scene But they call it also B10. Do who can I do to make it a meal? You are going to do only B10. So, the, the, the coins we are using that to, 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 to damage quite a number of our members. I do give you a couple of parties and then you can go and don't get it. Get it, make it low. Uh, but I know. Give me when you are more than one member. I, I therefore decided to send uh, my, uh, the, the forces which are directly under my command, the special forces. Because, uh, you know, I, I am president, but I'm always ready for war. President <laughs> Uganda, so the, the, I have forces directly under my command. When these soldiers get tired, I say, okay, let me go and help them. So I said to those forces, they came, they came and killed those people who had that gun around here. Ana kwa lo jana ni kina tapi no ni nevo dui ni ano tia kire duki maga don don ba ba bicha medico meno kana. So I said they came and reported we have killed these people who were having the beating and we have captured it. Kina tapi wo gobora me duki and report ni yo ano tia kire duki a don don ni ba ba kine o dui ni wano nevo ki. Do you go Canada? One of you come over. Where did you do it? We were near a school, which is called. They didn't even know the name of the school. Gino de Kobuni, when Alwanya go be the year, no check the carry. You could loro niye tiye niye lo da do peo niye o gino niye you could lo peo tiu poyo. So I found it was Balegi Small Primary School here. Iyo nge che nando a renu ngone kana me gino Alwanya o renu kujori yo de gamu duka don doni o be do Balegi Primary School. I said I'm going to come to there now. Ando are kubeni, au guru kama na kuno. So I came with my tent. Ada dong bino kere jami na me buru ama uone tent. And there were so many tsetse flies here. Are nuongo omele here bold to Balkan. We could not get out of our tent. Unu ora do kai do nyoko i kaburu alu mane tent. Beera mo do nyoko hapi na omele nu duong. But the scissor flies did not know that they were attacking a cattle keeper. Eka o mele kinuo wigu wilo ko peonge yene kino tiyo wiyendo daname wado. There in in the central area, western area, we have used decatex to kill ticks, but also kill scissor flies. E tutu a boto kanda kucha. One more tiu kere yata malu mone tika text mene ko ukwodo kero mene. So I I sent from the presidential farm in in Naka in Luero. I sent for about fifty bullocks. I brought them here. Eka te kwanyo doka don aromo gintira bicha reke logikani inaka seke. And spray them with the tika text. Eka ada kiri rukun kiri ya sama dua mana dikatai. After they had warned me not to come here, said don't go because it's very dangerous. I said no, I can't run away from this flight. Unu ana ngomi aku ya kini pay word kuno kuno mana dia? Ada ku begini begini kita orang peramu peramu ngai tu koi kom omele. So the bullocks went with the with the dekatai on the on their skin. 
Iyo nge ameo kiro dong Ya te lungo ni tika ta kse ikom Dok magi Kiro te ero dong Uwara ki pinkane balegi And the second day the Sisyphalites were less Ini no me ario Udero lungo ni Uwendo menete wode dok ping Within a week the old Sisyphalites were finished Iyo nge nina biro Unuodo mela yate duong kan woke Utumoko Now I waited for a gift from my sister She saw what to give me a gift for for killing such a fine that I have no opportunity. Iyong e chendo are koro motora me aya e bora me na ono bola tata Cecilia Guan na eja ni bodo a koro ame na bodo me a motoro me ne komere. So I said, Mr. Lamera, why is she near ko? Ando are koro ne ame na ne ngo me o enti e kere chume ne ngo ni aman. So from that time, the the, the, the open people allowed me to stay here. Ya hai do hi kare nasha o tete romeo kuanga meti yutuwe kan teme yatwero me bedo kan. But many years ago, I was a member of the Scripture Union. I karo karo tutuan la nu aji ya kina dulutin kuan ame me Scripture Union. Until I disagreed with them in 1965. Na yonge ame tangu apo kinu rwa peke diare po hiri peke yuko muambira bichi la bichi. When they said when somebody hits you on the left you turn the right and say no please. Karame kinu kuni kanga turu do inyo ba mi judu cham do he lock into jail me and no go ba ba mi wado. Are kwa yako? We had a white man called Taylor. He was our traveling secretary. Ono tiye kere mo no mo ra mo lo ni Taylor. Kwa no word eno bero dana me. That is when Mugabe, uh, uh, Ian Smith, declared uh, UDI independence. Money Karame Lobo Zimbabwe and Woke Lodgen. Ian Smith. Eh? Ian Smith. The man was, Ian Smith. Uh, I saw. I was saying, we as Christians, we should want to fight you. No one was there. Koni, what are you about? Kurutayo, miru wolo duenyi komononi. We had a conference at at Muiri. One of the people there, John Enamora, did Muiri. And the tailor said, no, you said you are backsliding. You are going backwards. Eka, mona mo duoni tailor ni. Te koni, yina duo musebeni. Yini ye ni kia doka goroko. I said, but you would deport goroko. I said when Jesus found uh, people sitting in the aircraft, he upset tables and there is no record that he paid compensation. But, but with the Warokere, we had the good uh, practice of uh, Opening to 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 criticize yourself when you to criticize yourself in case you do wrong. One na jaro loko le one no tie kere kire wa moro ame yini ni ye kere 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 te kopo pego ni unyo raji kai te mugi noro. Now when I came here the other day, I had to 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 opening to criticize myself as as a as a Christian because I saw. Omona, do you know a man called Omona? Omona is a big man here. Now, his people were bringing water tankers, water tankers, water tankers. Huh. Where are these getting the water, water, clean water from where? Ah, what am I trying to be no can in it? Ah, die, umino moro kana mo luoni Omona, ano pero dana dit? Ane no ano mio jo mero bino kan tiukelo. Tangs may be manager award kere motor. Ero lang pia may be yao pero pia chi. Lamang pa yun ni pini din ng mga kwen. So now this man, this people put me in this position of seeing now because I am drinking pia maber. I don't know what my people in Okwanga are drinking. Yo ano dong pero may anak yaya charo ba? Won bal dong yun ano tino bal? Yang kita ni anak dia mat tu pia jil, entah pia dia ngeh yo yo nama dia yo kuang kori pia ngah kiri dia mat. So I have decided that when I go back, I will have to walk with a little bit of water, 
and, and I cannot go on drinking Pima Bear when my neighbors are drinking. Uh, Yo mo kama koni ka do Kampala ago lo ro cha bot ministry of melopi an pero mo binukan an be matu pia chil kun pe te nge yu pia yo na dia matu koni so thank you very much for coming here uh, i am now ready to 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 hear your comments to my uh, my my initial remarks thank you very much amiga ku wa te ke tu al me binukan na me do bi kere kare ni Thank you very much.